In today's video, I want to show you how to install Android on your Fight Tab Duo. We are going to compare the performance with this native Android system in comparison with the Fight OS Android subsystem. And as you can see right now, the keyboard and the trackpad are working perfectly on Android. But not everything is perfect and I will show you a couple of errors that I found. For example, when we try to unlock the tablet, sometimes we need to unlock twice. And also the fingerprint sensor doesn't work. Now I want to show you the emulation performance in PSP games. For example, here I'm running the same game as in the Android subsystem at 6x resolution. In the Android subsystem we were running at 1x and even with that resolution the game was playing bad. But this time we have the possibility to run Vulkan instead of OpenGL so the performance is way better with this Android ROM. Now if we take a look to the 3DS emulation uh, we can see more or less the same. Basically we have the possibility to use Vulkan instead of OpenGL and with that the performance is going to be way better. So this time we can play any 3DS games and we can do it at 2x resolution. So I will show you a bit of gameplay of Mario Kart, but you can check that the performance is way better than the Android subsystem for FidoS, because in that subsystem we couldn't even run this game properly. So now I want to show you other games like Genshin Impact to see how it compares with the Android subsystem. So by default, it came in the lowest settings as it was in the Android subsystem, but I will put it in medium graphics to see how it performs. But basically, the game is totally playable. If we put it in medium graphics, you can play it without any problem, but sometimes when you use some abilities or the ultimate, it might lag a bit, basically when you have a lot of particles in the screen. So in general, the performance of this Android system instead of the subsystem that comes with FadeOS is way better. Here we have Vulkan support and that means that the performance in emulation is going to be way better. You can play PSP, 3DS games or even PlayStation 2 games, not like in the Android subsystem with FadeOS. So now I want to show you how to install this Android system in the FightTab Duo. You can go to my repository, this is the wiki that I'm doing, and you can check the Android part. Here I have a link to the how to install this Android image, how to root it, and how to install Google Play. So let's just start by downloading all the files needed, like ADB and Fastboot. You can go to the official page, like you are seeing right now, go to Downloads, and select the one for your operative system. In my case, I will do all the process in Windows, but you can do it in Linux or even Mac OS. As a tip, I recommend you downloading everything in the same folder. So now we are going to download the drivers that we need to flash the tablet. Again, select the same folder. And finally, you need the flash tool. You can download it from macOS and Linux from the official wiki, or you can click on this link to download the version for Windows. Here you have all the different links, so select the tool and save it. After that, I recommend you also downloading now the image for Android. So we are going to install this image in the Fight tab. You can create a new folder for the operative system for the Fight tab or just download in the same folder. Now remember that you need to uncompress everything, including the Android image. So you can select everything, right click and extract, but extract it with 7-zip or WinRAR, not with the default tools that come with Windows. So now we are going to start the process by going to the driver and installing it. Just open the X file and click on install driver. After this, we can continue with the following step. We are going to execute the flashing tool. So let's go to the other folder and click on this X file. Inside the program, we need to go to the second tab, not the first one. In the repository, you have an image in English instead of Chinese, so you understand a bit better what is happening. And now, to flash the image, we need to turn on the Fight Tab Duo into Mass ROM mode. But first, we can just simply select the image we are going to flash in the tablet. In this menu, you can select any of the operating system available on the official wiki. So, we are going to select Android, but you can select Debian, Arc Linux, or whatever. Now, connect the USB cable from the PC to the tablet and power it off. After that, press volume plus button, hold it, and quick press the power button, like you are seeing right now. Now, release the volume plus button. Now you will see in the program that you have loader or max room in the bottom part. This means that we can flash the tablet. 
the process will take a bit, but you can see a progress percentage in the program, so you know when it finishes. After that, the tablet will reboot automatically in the Android system or the image that you flash. Now I'm going to show you how to install Magix. So we are going to root the Android system and we are going to install some Google Apps. So for that, we need this application called Magix. So you can go to the official GitHub repository and download the last version available. I recommend you to save it in the same folder as the ATV and Fastboot program. So we are going to install this APK directly from the terminal. So when we are ready, we have the tablet booted into Android and connected to the PC. So check that we have adv.x and the Magix APK in the same folder like you can see right now. And we are going to check that the connection with the tablet is properly configured. If we run ADB devices, we are going to see an entry and this is the tablet. Anyway, if this is the first time you use ADB, I recommend you taking a look to the GitHub repository. Now we are going to install the AP key directly with this command and we are going to see the success message. Now I will show you the screen of the tablet in the computer, but this is basically the fight tab duo. So if we see the application that we have, now we can see magic but we don't have this properly installed. If you click on install, we don't have the directly install option. So we are going to fix this. So now we are going to flash a new boot. This boot was created from my fight tab duo and I think this should work on all the fight tab duos, but you have the link to create your own if you need it or if you want in any case. Save the file in the same folder as before with the magic app and the adv.x file. And now we are going to reboot the tablet into the recovery mode. From this recovery mode, we are going to access Fastboot. So copy this command, adb reboot recovery, paste in the terminal, and you will see that the tablet will reboot into the recovery. And you will see this image. Move up and down with the volume buttons and accept with the power button. After entering the Fastboot mode, we are going to use other commands. Instead of adb, we are going to use Fastboot. And as you can see, if you run Fastboot devices, you should see one entry, the tablet. And after this, you can just paste the command to flash the patch boot IMG. So with that, we can now reboot the tablet into the normal mode with the command you are seeing right now. And we will see that now we can open Magis and we can install it. So let's open Magis and you will see this message. Accept it and after a few seconds, the tablet will reboot. So wait until the process finishes and once it reboots again, we are going to be able to use root permissions in the tablet. So now we are going to use Magis with root permissions to flash the Google Apps. You can go to this link and download this file. This is the Google Apps to flash with Magis. So save this file into the folder you want and we are going to copy it to the tablet. In order that the computer detects the tablet as a USB flash drive, we need to change this configuration. Open the notifications, click on this one and change to file transfer. After this, the tablet is going to be detected as an USB in the computer. So you can copy and paste the Google Apps to the tablet. You can paste the file in the folder that you prefer. So now we are going to be able to flash this module on Magis. For that, we just need to open Magis, the Magis application, and now you will see that we have all the button options available. So we are going to select the last one, modules. Here we only have just one button, so click on it and select the zip file that we have just moved to the tablet. Accept everything and wait until the zip is flashed. When the process finishes, you can see in the bottom part that there is a reboot button. So we are going to click on it and reboot the tablet. After the tablet is reboot, we will see that now we have the Google Play Store. You can now click on it and sign into the Play Store. And to finish with this part, I'm going to show you how to rotate the tablet because the auto rotate doesn't work. So you need to connect the tablet to the computer. So we are going to be able to use some ADB commands. You can copy and paste this and you can see that the tablet rotates automatically. Now I have it in landscape. This is not ideal, but as we don't have the auto rotate, this is the only way we can rotate the screen. Now I want to show you how to install also some GSI ROMs. These ROMs are a bit more experimental in this tablet, but I recommend you that if you are interested, you can check them. So the first thing to do is download one of 
this list, you can check that we have a lot of different projects like Lineage, but I'm going to select CR Droid because I have tested this ROM in the past and I think it's quite good. The only problem is that we need to select the lighter version of all the ROMs so they won't contain the Google Apps. But as the system partition is a bit small, there is no other way. So I'm going to download this one that you are seeing right now and I want to show you how to flash it. We have two different options. We can have both ROMs, the original Android and this one at the same time or you can flash one instead of another. So in this case, I will show you how to flash the GSI ROM replacing the Android that we have just installed. So we are going to copy the uncompressed ROM to the same folder as the ADB and fastboot commands and we are going to reboot the tablet into recovery because we need to enter fastboot as we did before. So execute the command and enter the fastboot mode from the tablet like we saw before with the volume keys. After we are in fastboot mode, you can check with fastboot device that the tablet is recognized. We are going to copy and paste this command to create some space to flash the ROM that we have just downloaded, the CR Droid one. So after this, we are going to follow the next step, which is flashing the image. So when we paste this, the process will start and you will see that you have a lot of different messages saying OK. And now we can go again to the recovery with the command you are seeing right now and wipe everything. So we do a wipe of the data and we do a factory reset. After you complete the wipe data and factory reset, you can reboot the tablet and we will see the welcome message from the run we have just installed. So complete all the process and I will show you that we will have some errors. For example, the camera is no longer available with these ROMs and the performance I think is a bit worse than the original Android image for the 5 tab. But you can see that here you have Android 14 in case you need it. So in general, this is just another option we have to install on the 5 tab duo. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And let me in the comments if you want me to test anything else in the 5 tab duo.